Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GaddisShoes.com and today we are here at the Solora event and we have the Aria A1 Plus which is the new phone which they have launched today. Here we have the box and this is the Indian retail box which you will get. This phone is going to be sold through Amazon.in just like Aria Z2. This one is also going to be sold exclusively by Amazon.in so you can only buy it from there. The price which is set for this phone is going to be 55,499 which is the introductory price. However, the MRP which is mentioned in the box is slightly higher but you can get get it for 5,499 which is a pretty affordable price for the kind of specification you are getting on this phone so this is how the package looks like the package looks pretty decent I would say and it is kind of uh, I, maybe you can say a kind of a package made up of recycled paper and at the back you have some specifications of the device mentioned over here which includes a 4.5 QHD display so you have a QHD display on this device not a high definition display and it is an OGF display which has full lam lamination as well and it has pretty good viewing angles as well you have 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor on this device which is mediatek 6582 chipset which is the same hardware which you get on the android one as well but this phone actually as compared to android one has many advantages including the memory which is higher on this one and many other things which are better on this one as compared to android one and which we which we which, which we will highlight in this particular video talking about front camera the front camera is a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera the rear camera is 5 megapixel auto focus camera and, and it can also record high definition video we have have 1 GB of RAM on this device and 8 GB of internal memory and it is a dual SIM phone both the SIM card slot will support 3G you have assisted GPS as well you have OTG support as well on this device and the battery inside is again 2000 milliampere battery which comes within the package again which is a pretty good battery for a 4.5 inch OGF display and it can give you around one day of battery backup you have Android 4.4 KitKat also running on this device and the exact version is Android 4.4.2 and let's take a look what we have inside the package let me just open the package for you and show you what we have inside and the first thing which we get inside is the phone itself this is the aria a1 plus again we have already unboxed the device and that is why i have removed the protection film but if you notice that you have a screen guard which is also coming pre-installed on this phone which is a very good thing which the brand has actually done the overall wing angles of the display are also pretty good you can see the display from extreme angles without any issues and this is something which i like the overall specifications of this phone for the price are good enough uh, Again, you will not get these kind of specification for the price uh, in any other brand as of now at least uh, but again they will be closer to that but this one is definitely but has something better including the memory which is 8 GB which we have on this phone so we will take a look over the phone later on let's take a look what we have inside the package further going inside the package we can see that we have two back cover additional back covers which are again finished in matte and they are again matte finish you have a red color one you have a white color one and the black color uh, back cover comes pre-installed on the device so you can replace the back cover and you can change the color profile of the device with these two back covers which come within the package and again the matte finish on the back cover does provide you a very good grip as well apart from this you have some user manuals uh, a warranty card which comes within the package the user manual which you may like to read you have the micro usb uh, cable for data syncing and charging and here you have the charger and let me just check the output current from the charger so this is a standard usb charger which you will get within the package of this one and the output current is one ampere so this is a one ampere charger which you will get within the package and there you have the earphones so these are the headphones or the earphones which come within the package again they are very standard in terms of the quality not so great nothing ex exceptional about it the sound quality should be good we will check that once we do the full review and again the overall build quality is decent enough if not too good this is how the audio lead look like it does have a mic module with a button to pick the calls so these are all the things which you will get within the package of this phone so let me just keep all these things aside for a while and let's take a look over the aria a1 plus which is the new phone from Salora. and this phone in terms of hard specification definitely is better as compared to the android one phones out there but it is running with a custom ui which is running on top of android which is not laggy i would say and it is responsive as well i do not notice any lag on this phone but the overall software updates is something which will be a question salura has promised that they will be giving android l update on this phone but i do doubt that let's see when that happens and when we get the software update on this phone talking about the storage this phone definitely has bigger storage as compared to any other android one phone out there so here we have the display let's take a look over the build quality and the connectivity in terms of build quality the phone is actually made up of plastic they have used plastic on the edges but it has uh, a kind of a metallic finish to it as you can see it gives you a metallic finish however this material is plastic but good quality plastic has been used at the back you can see that we have plastic again we have the loudspeaker over here at the back which is kind of a curved part so even if you 
uh, place the device like this flat on a surface the sound will get muffled but it will not get blocked completely which is good and the camera is slightly bulging out from the backside which is again okay but uh, you might get some scratches over here so make sure you have some protection over here as far as flip cover is concerned which you can additionally buy which does not come within the package but again for normal usage it is not a problem for long term usage you might see something over here you have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera at the back which can record high definition video we have the LED flash as well for low light photos on this side we have the power and flip key which is a plastic button gives you decent amount of feedback on the top you have micro USB port for data syncing and charging you have a 3.5mm audio jack for the headphones on this side you have the volume rocker which is divided into two buttons and this is also uh, giving good amount of feedback whenever you press them you can easily locate these keys at the bottom you have the primary microphone and again we are not able to locate a secondary microphone on this device but we will confirm that later whether we have secondary microphone on this one or not on the top we have the nice metal key piece below the glass we have the front camera which is a 2 megapixel camera camera and again one thing which I would like to tell you is that with the help of software emulation they have make sure that they can interpolate the 5 megapixel camera to give you an 8 megapixel photo but the clarity of that photo is not that great uh, which I just tested uh, again you can take pretty good photos with 5 megapixel camera on this device with this much of resolution that is something I would like to suggest you in case you would like to use it and again the interpolation is something which you can disable in case you would like to do that from the camera interface itself you have a 2 megapixel camera at the front which is a fixed focus camera and it is decent enough for taking selfies as far as touch capacitor buttons are concerned, at the bottom on the front we have these touch capacitor buttons but they do not have backlit LED. So it might be difficult for you to see them in dark room but they do have a red paint over here with which you can actually see them. This is how the display look like. As you can see the display is good enough in terms of color production. It is not the most colorful display but decent enough in terms of colors. And again for this price this is one of the best display you can actually get on a device like this. In terms of weight this device is slightly heavy as compared to some of the 4.5 inch display phone I have seen earlier it is around 145 gram but again this weight actually gives you a feel that it is kind of a solid phone when you hold it in hand it does not feel like a cheap phone it does not uh, look like a cheap phone at all which is good the thickness of the device is around 9.7 millimeter so it has a thickness of approximately 9.7 meter over here which is again making this phone not very thick it is not very thin either so good enough again in terms of form factor you can easily hold this phone in one hand and you can use it with one hand as well without any issues which is the case you have a 2000 mAh battery which again can be removed so you can remove the back cover from here and then we can access the battery here we have the battery which is a 2000 mAh battery we have the sim card slot 1 which can take a normal size sim card and i think uh, this one is a normal size sim card slot and this one is a micro sim so you can insert a micro sim into the second sim card slot and the, here we can insert a normal size sim card we have the micro sd memory card slot as well to expand the storage and here we have the 2000 milliampere battery inside the micro sd memory card you can insert a micro sd memory card up to 32 gb on this phone and here we have the loudspeaker as you can see so in terms of the overall look and feel and the build quality the phone is good enough let's take a look of the software ui which is there and again the software ui is not laggy at all it is kind of responsive it has some custom icons but it is not heavy customization which they have done on the ui front which is making this ui responsive enough here we have the phone dialer as you can see and you can easily dial a number as far as video call option is concerned you do have the option of making a cellular video call as well which is a good thing apart from this if we take a look over application which will come pre-installed you have some kindle application coming pre-installed amazon application coming pre-installed you have fm radio file manager as well which is coming pre-installed you have otg support as well you have play store and not many blotware application are coming installed which will give a lot of storage space on this device and again you will be able to install a lot of things on this device with 8 GB storage out of which approximately 5.0 GB is available to the user so let's take a look over the notification center so this is how the notification center look like and we can see the toggles over here we do have support for wireless display as well as you can see we have the toggle for the same we do have support for automatic brightness as well on this phone which is a good thing and apart from this if we take a look over the settings and we have other toggles as well we have the battery toggle the bluetooth the battery indication over here not the toggle we have bluetooth toggle over here location toggle as well let me just go into settings and show you further more details about this phone so under about phone you can see that the version of android which is running on this phone is android 4.4 4.2 KitKat and you do have software update supported so you can update the version of Android on this device with the help of over the air updates which will be given to this phone through Wi-Fi and you can download them uh, wherever you are and you can check for the updates as well which is a good thing the going further inside the settings I can show you some more things and again you can actually set this phone to update weekly automatically and you can update the uh, phone version or via Wi-Fi in case you would like to do that
So on the storage front, you have 8 GB of internal storage on this device, out of which approximately 5.94 GB is available to the user. So you can install a lot of application and games as well on this device uh, with this much amount of storage, which is available to you. And you also have the option of changing the default write disk. That means once you insert an SD card, you can change the default write disk. You can install applications from the SD card, and you can also move application from the phone memory to the SD card. And this is something which we have already tested before doing this video. As far as display settings are concerned, we have the display settings over here, and as far as wallpaper is concerned you have support for live wallpapers static wallpapers video wallpapers are not supported and again automatic brightness and wireless display are already there let me just go back and show you some other things as far as audio profiles are concerned we do have the option of enhancing the overall quality of sound by using this option so once you check this you will be able to hear better quality of sound from the earphones which is a very good thing this device has 1 GB of RAM and let me just see how much of that is actually free. So out of 1 GB of RAM you get approximately 611 MB of RAM free which is fairly good and you can actually install high definition games as well on this device. Although the resolution is QHD on this phone, you can play some of the high definition videos at, as well at 720p but 1080p videos may not get played on this device and you can use third party video players in order to play those videos. The resolution of the device is good enough, the 4.75 inch display it has, it has a pretty good pixel density I would say uh, you will not see any pixelation on this device as far as resolution is concerned but again the resolution is not high definition it is QHD resolution which you have on this phone but again that does not cause a problem unless you read a document with a large amount of text you won't notice any pixelation on this device in day-to-day -day usage this is how the messaging application looks like as you can see as far as interface is concerned the interface is again stock standard and you can easily type on this device without any issues with the help of this virtual keyboard. This virtual keyboard does have support for continuous input typing so you can do swipe to type on this device without any issues you can easily type on this phone and it does give you the suggestions at the top. Whenever you tap on any of the keys the keys does give you a pop up as well whichever key you are pressing and again they are nicely separated from each other so you can easily identify them and easily type on this device but for anyone who have thick fingers in that case it might be difficult for you to type on this 4.5 inch display phone in portrait mode but again you can always type in the landscape mode as well in case you face any issue with the typing now here we have the camera interface as you can see on the camera interface you have all these options which includes the live photo mode you have a beautification mode you have panorama mode also supported you do have support for HDR mode as well on this device and uh, right now HDR mode is enabled so let me just take a photo of my iPhone 6 and show you the same again we are taking this photo in low light scenario we do not have much amount of light we have some amount of artificial light on this device which is falling which we have captured in this photo as you can see the photo looks good in terms of colors and in in terms of details it is not very clear i can see slight amount of grains but for a 5 megapixel camera phone this is a pretty good camera quality you can get even in low light from this phone in daylight you can expect much better quality from this device and we have taken this photo in hdr mode in case you take the photo in the non hdr mode then in that case the photo can be taken pretty quickly it will not take much of a time and in that case the photo quality will also look good again even if you take it without the HDR mode, let me just take the same photo again without HDR and this time we have disabled HDR so that we don't have to hold the camera stable. So the photo has been taken pretty quickly this time. The camera shutter was quick enough and still the photo clarity is good enough. In terms of details it is not too great but pretty good for a 5 megapixel camera phone I would say which we have on this device. The color production is decent enough it is not too good but decent for the price uh, this device has been offered. As far as the camera settings are concerned I can show you some of the camera settings over here. We have zero shutter delay, voice capture, face detection, smile shot, HDR, continuous shooting mode as well. You also have a self timer mode for the rear camera as well as for the front, front camera. You can take 99 shots maximum continuously and picture size is 5 megapixel. You can again with the help of software emulation you can take 8 megapixel photos but these 8 megapixel photos are not looking that great this is something which I can say and the preview size is full screen or that is 16 to 9 or 4 is to 3 that is something which you can control as far as video is concerned you have electronic image stabilization and you have the video quality which can be set to 720p so you can record high definition video on this device at 720p and you can also record high definition video at 100p but I'm not sure at what frame per second these videos are going to be recorded 720p is supposed to be at least 29 frames per second and this this is something which we will confirm later on once we do the full review of this phone so let me just come out of the camera and before i do that let me just open the front camera interface so the let me just toggle to the front camera interface and i will take a photo of myself again as you can see there is slight amount of 
light which is coming from that side behind my face from my back sides basically and again let's see how does this photo get captured in this particular light conditions so I've just taken the photo and I can say the 2 megapixel camera which we have on this phone is again good enough but don't expect great clarity from the 2 megapixel camera you can get pretty decent selfies from the 2 megapixel camera if you have good amount of artificial light so let me just take the same photo again in this kind of a scenario I can just take this photo and show it to you so we have taken another photo and I can show you this one as of now this one is looking better even it had a lot of light coming uh, from the back side but still this photo is looking good so front camera selfies are going to be decent enough for the price and for this price the kind of camera they have given on the front can give you pretty good selfies but don't expect too much of clarity in those selfie photos which you can capture from the front camera on this phone so here we have SL8 which is installed on the Aria A1 Plus and we are going to play this phone and show you the gaming performance of this particular phone. Let's see how does this game get rendered in terms of graphics and how does this device handle this high graphic intensive game. So we are going to play the default round which we have, the first round, the classic one. So here we have the game loaded and let's see how we can play this game and how smoothly we can play it. In terms of graphics, I do not notice any kind of lag, at least initially in the starting. The touchscreen is also responsive, all the gaming controls are accessible on the touchscreen. And there is no graphic lag which I can notice on this device while playing this game till now. Again, it is not running in the visual high graphic mode, but with default settings, whatever it is, it is running pretty responsive. So there is no problem with the game playback, the device is handling this graphic intensive game pretty effectively without any issues in the graphics or without any other issues. I do not notice any kind of frame drop. And the viewing angles of the display are also good enough. So you can see the display from these angles as well in case you set it like this you can see the display and there is no problem with the clarity of the device when you are gaming like this. And the device for these controls which we have so you can easily accelerate the car the graphics are rendered fine i can notice slight amount of heating over here at the back side uh, near the led flash but this heating is not much but i have been playing this game for the last five minutes only so i don't know what will happen if i play this game for the next 20 minutes but the game is not lagging at all in terms of graphics and you can expect pretty good performance from this device as far as gaming is concerned which is a very good thing even when this device is priced so less that is 5499 so that's all from us as far as the quick hands-on review and unboxing of the aria a1 plus which we have with us some of the things which i really like about this device is the storage you have a pretty good storage on this device which is available to the user and you can install a lot of a lot of application and high definition games as well and you can run high definition games as well on this device and we will do a full review as far as gaming reviews concerned later on the battery inside is also good enough it is a 2000 milliampere battery which you are getting inside you have a pretty good camera at the back which is a 5 megapixel camera and it can give you pretty good photos in daylight in low light as well it can give you decent photos in terms of clarity and details and you have 1 GB of RAM out of which approximately 600 MB of RAM is free so you can install a lot of application and you will not notice any kind of lag on this device or any kind of performance issues initially at least if you don't load this phone with too many applications you won't notice any kind of problem in day to day usage you have 1.3 GHz quad core processor as well which is MediaTek 6582 so in all the specification as far as price and value is concerned this device is definitely better as compared to the Android one phones out there in the market you will also get a pretty good support from Salora as well they will replace the phone in case you have this phone and you have the problem in the phone in the seven days of purchase they will replace it with a new one in case you repair this phone for three times from their service center they will give you a new phone again in that case as well so again the kind of after sale support salura is providing is also good enough for the price uh, which this device has been offered so they're giving a very good support even if this price uh, if this even if this device okay. 
So Solora is giving a pretty good support even when this device is priced kind of low in terms of the price. So that's all from us. Thanks for watching this video. In case you have any questions, you can like this video. This video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.